Mmm. Look at all that goodness. Hello. Hi guys. Welcome to this vlog. Welcome to this video. And I'm coming to you from my kitchen. I haven't done a cooking um, video in a minute. So today I just decided we should cook together. Make some chicken curry, chicken mushroom curry, or chicken curry. I'll see how I'm feeling. And you know, like let's just enjoy the cooking session, right? In this vlog. I've got um, the one kg chicken fillet from Yopuku, and I ordered it via Jamia, and it was here in like 20 minutes. Very surprised. I usually order Yopuku from Safe Border, but Safe Border. <laughs> That was my van, but um, I was saying I always order um, your cuckoo from Safe Border, but this morning Safe Border app was not loading. Uh, so I tried, I went to Twitter and then I saw they have you can order on, on Jumia, and I did that, and it was really, really, really fast. So shout out to you, Jumia, for being very efficient today. I ordered something else in Jumia, I'll come back to you guys in another vlog and tell you how that goes. So I'm going to show you what I have, what we're going to work with. Very simple, you know, not too much as, you know what I mean. Okay, so before we get into the whole recipe, I have my tomatoes here and I like to batch make. So, sorry. <laughs> I am going to slice this up and put them in the blender, put some in the freezer, and just so, I, I don't like to cook and have the tomato thing. I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying. So if you just chop them up and put them in the stew you have those residues in the I don't like that so that's what I'm going to do and then I'll show you exactly what we're going to need for this exact recipe that was just a side tip oh, yeah. hey so this is my blended tomatoes and this is uh, two cups like two and a half cups if you're doing the measurements I am trying to do this measurement thing oh, this is the batch I, I wanted to show you guys so I want to freeze this and when I need to use it I'll just take it out that's um, how I, I always been doing it however I read somewhere I think on Mandy's page Mandy um, throw down lava mandy i think you add either vinegar or sugar that's what she said to keep it preserve it longer in the refrigerator not in the freezer but for me i'm going to freeze this that's what i always do right hey y'all so this is what we are going to need for our chicken curry today we have um this is a kg of chicken fillet i've already chopped it up then we have um, two and a half cups of tomato puree, not paste. Here we've got onions. This was one and a half of the red onions. This not very small, but the medium ones. And I mix it with um, the spring onion. And here we've got garlic, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, and some olive oil. This is cooking cream turmeric cumin powder graham masala and some basil and thyme so let's get into the cooking First, we're going to go in with the onion. And then now, this is ginger. I want to put half a tablespoon. Usually, I put more, but my sunshine. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of garlic. This is garlic. This I love. The more the merrier for me, to be honest. So 
just adjust how you like the stuff. Commercial break because the gas got done. Wow. Anyway, we thank God for emergency things. So my mix is in here. And then I'm going to just go in with the tomato. This is a point where I like to put the salt. Whenever I'm cooking, I like to put the salt after the tomatoes. Actually, if it's not pureed, it helps the tomatoes break down, but it's not as good as this. So, and guys, I cook like a real African. I've been trying to measure, but. <laughs> Mix a little bit and then. I like to cover so that all the, for like 30 seconds or 40 seconds then I'll come back and put the spices. So, mm. this is what we're working with. Can you see that? So we are going in with the spices, I'm going to put some graham masala, this is a mixture of different spices but yeah, for me this is a standard in my kitchen. Some cumin powder. And then turmeric for the for some flavor and the color so I'm going to go in with uh, three tablespoons teaspoon sorry of, t of turmeric Guys, I made a huge mistake. You're going to have to forgive me. I skipped the part of um, after the onions, you put a little bit of you put the chicken so that it gets a little bit of browning. I just skipped that part. I'm sorry. So I am going, but don't worry about that. I'm going to get another pan, um, slightly pan fry the chicken, and then add it in the mix that we already have. Okay, so let's continue. I'm sorry. So if you miss the step, don't you worry. I am going to pan fry the chicken right here and then put it in here. Right? Usually it goes in after the onions, but I don't know what has been on my mind. I really don't. I feel like I thought I was doing a vegetable curry where I put the broccoli at the end and it has to be not overcooked. So, yeah. So we have got a little bit of brown that we want on the on the chicken. I'm going to just add it into this. Yes. Then we are going to go in with the cooking cream. Ooh, the pristine cooking cream. I used this the other day. I used this is one liter. This is one liter. I used half of it the other day to cook. So I'm going to use 500 ml in short. 
So let this simmer for 15 minutes and then it will be ready to cook. Actually 10 to 15 minutes because the chicken is already cooked. So 10 to 15. So this is when I like to put my dried herbs. I must just put the basil at the end, right? Because this can be taken. You can eat this. You don't have to overcook the herbs really. So just that, let it simmer a little longer and then we'll be ready to eat. So I will see you guys when I'm serving. Here we've got the perfect chicken curry, perfecto. Let me just show you guys what I mean. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, and I'm going to have it with. I ordered for a naan from Nawab, a garlic naan, and a what's it called? A plain naan. So I'm going to just have that. Hey, so I think this video is going to be just a cooking video. I don't want it to be too long, continuing it with another vlog. I am feeling sort of weak. I have been on my feet since um, morning. Yeah, since morning I went to the market, came back, organized stuff, and this is my first meal. And it's um, 3 p.m. For some reason I didn't have appetite. Even yesterday I last ate at about 5. Can you imagine? That's not like me. Anyway, let's taste this. Just don't go to the Indian restaurant all the time. Sometimes make it yourself. Let that eat. I think this is oh okay. I got the garlic naan. I like garlic naan. The only problem I have with turmeric, guys, is it stains. It stains, and I like white stuff, so some of my things, most of them are white. My dining table, I've just seen a stain here, that's why. Why is it clean, but on clothes or something, it will just, you just never know. So I made this special lunch for my family. My sister, who was Ihan, is not here. I would hear him make some noise and disturb me, but he's not here. They had gone to Ginger, they were in Ginger for the weekend. They went on Friday. Abu had um, work engagement, sort of thing, and then they just chill in the hotel with Kia with my other two little sisters. So they had a ball. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope. Um, you enjoy the cooking thing and it's a easy recipe for you i think it's pretty pretty easy i just another way how i cook my chicken remember the other time i was telling you guys when my sister was here that i'm the chicken master i truly am <laughs> yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you can try this recipe and let me know i'm eating my, drinking the soup eating the yeah so oh, thank you so much. Have a lovely day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. And please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit the like button, that bell button, so you can get in, um, notifications whenever I upload a video. I love you.
see you in the next one.